They're really thick. Yeah. Let me need my And um, I had been at work the day before, mm -hmm. and when she got there, and I don't remember this, and I can tell you why in a second, um, I was in a lot of pain and throwing up, so she took me to West Health and did some, I guess, an MRI and found this twisted intestine that was already, st does this... This is just a picture, right? No, it's also doing the sound, but nobody knows who you are. Oh, I want to stop talking. So that's fine. I'll take oh. out any identifying information. No, <laughs> but plus you don't need to hear what I'm saying. Oh. But anyway, then they found the problem and took me to Abbott in an ambulance. Mm hmm And, yeah. So that was a huge surprise. So you had surgery that day? Yes, yeah. yeah. And the reason I don't even remember coming. And I'll take her name out. Oh, is because um, she said, Mom, they had you on 28 different medications. I ended up being in the ICU for three weeks. Wow. So that was a complete surprise. But then so was the breast cancer 11 years before that. Yeah. So you said you're going to be having surgery? Is it a revision of? No, I'm no, I'm through with all that. Oh, okay. But I'm back at work. Why did I even bring this up? Because so you said sorry. you were back working part. Sh yeah, shorter, four, shorter. four hour days. The yeah. surgeon said. Yeah. How are we doing so far? Not too painful. No, it's all. Uh, well, it's, it's okay. Yeah. Now, see, all of this nail that I've taken off wasn't even attached. Oh my gosh. So what do you, now you said you thought this was from, this could be left over from, I shouldn't be touching it when you're No, no, it's fine. It, it, it um, very well could be left over from your chemotherapy. Um, is that kind of around the time you noticed that it started? You know, that I was just going to say, I can't even remember when this was going on. Okay. I mean, that I noticed that something, you know, was kind of off. Mm -hmm. Um that up. I'm so sorry. You're My fine. thoughts just come and go. You like. know what? You're absolutely fine. So this is not only thick, but you see how it's kind of growing yeah. at an angle, yeah. and this part is ingrown. So does this one hurt a little bit more than the other one in shoes? Uh, actually, it doesn't hurt so much in shoes. Oh, it just okay. hurts when I start trying to clean beneath them with something. Okay. And I thought, I'm getting nowhere. Oh, I know why I brought that up, because I was so thankful. I mean, I never said, why did I get this? Um, I was just so thankful for the good doctors I had. I had a wonderful surgeon, mm -hmm. wonderful oncologist. Um, and then when I went through the uh, surgery in June, I mean, I think everybody at Abbott knows what they're doing. <laughs> And I'm thankful for you already. Oh my goodness. Thank you for what you do. I couldn't do anything in the medical world. That just... And I couldn't do what you do. You're nice to everybody who comes okay. through your lines. It's, it's okay. Okay. Huh? Okay, you just let me know if you need me to stop for a second. Oh, big, big chunk. chunk. Yeah. <laughs> no. I'm thankful to be alive. In fact, um, with this um, intestine surgery, they told my daughter, the one who found me, and the reason I can't remember her even coming to my townhouse mm -hmm. is because they had me on so many drugs that, I mean, I just don't remember that I, they took me, then they took me to over here in Golden Valley to Regents, Regency, mm -hmm. for some recovery and and at some point in time, I came came to there. <laughs> so you don't even remember being in the ICU no, all that time no. or anything, huh? No, no. The last thing I remember before I got to Regency was going to a birthday party the third Saturday in June for a good friend of mine. Hmm. So, and then they told me if... Well, if, I, if she hadn't found me, would I have had presence of mind to 
you know, call somebody because I don't remember being in the pain or throwing up or anything. And she said, I was talking to her on the way to West Hill. I said, do you have, did you have the right mother? <laughs> so you were kind of delirious and having... Well, I don't remember it. I think it's because of all the medications they put me on. Mm -hmm. So I said, Mom, you don't want to remember. Yeah. I said, you know, okay. the brain has a very nice way of doing that. That's what one of my best friends told me. Yeah, like people who were in a bad accident most of the time don't remember the bad accident. Or oftentimes, I won't say most of the time. But well, my daughters were just fabulous. Um, one lives in Colorado and one in New York State, and they both have very responsible jobs. Mm -hmm. And the one in Colorado was just, I mean, they both were. So he went back home then in New York, and then she came back again. And they each have two little kids. Where's my mommy? You know, where? But they took good care of you, sounds like. Oh my gosh, yes they did. Okay, I'm going to thin these out now. Um. And I'm thankful for you. I mean, I, I couldn't do a thing in the medical field. I'm so thankful for people in the medical field that do what they do. I just got in the way of your camera. You're I'm fine. So sorry. You're fine. I can edit it all. Okay, so these are going to feel a, a whole lot better. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. What I would like to do is schedule you to come back in about three months. Okay. And we'll trim them again and clean out some more of this gunk um, down in here. Uh -huh. And just kind of see how how this did and how things are going for you. And um, oh, <laughs> so will they? Do you think they'll ever grow back? That they grow normal? No, no. I do not think they will ever grow back normal. Um, but if you can keep them thinned out and short like this, especially the thinned out part. Yeah you should be able to be very comfortable without having to do anything like remove them. Oh, I hope I don't have to, but thank you. You know, and if you did have to remove them, like the skin here that's already toughened up, yeah. up in the front, that's what the whole nail bed would be like once it heals. So oh. it's not sensitive, um, and it's better than having the nail that you walked in with. Yeah. Here is Karen Chen. Flying into this opening triple lutz, triple toilet combination. Yeah! Hi everyone, this is Olympic figure skater Karen Chen. I'm saying hi to Team Synergy. Um, but yeah, if there's one thing I know, it is about diet and exercise. So stay dedicated to your hard work, diet, and keep up with the great work. So I love you guys so much and good luck with everything. Hold it.